Welcome to our deep dive into the mesmerizing world of Edvard Munch, a master whose brush captured the raw essence of human emotion. In this video, we'll highlight 10 of his most famous paintings, each telling a unique story filled with passion, despair, and introspection. From the iconic The Scream to lesser-known gems, prepare to journey through Munch's vivid imagination and discover what makes his art timeless. The Scream, 1893. Capturing the intense emotions of modernity, Edvard Munch's iconic work, the Scream, 1893, is a seminal piece in the artist's oeuvre. The painting's central figure, overcome with emotion, stands at the edge of a bridge, arms raised in a futile attempt to block out the cacophony of the city. Munch's bold, expressive brushstrokes and vivid color palette convey the turmoil and anxiety of the modern experience. The painting's significance extends beyond its striking visuals, as it marked a turning point in Munch's career, cementing his reputation as a pioneer of expressionism. The Scream was also a deeply personal work, with Munch drawing inspiration from his own struggles with anxiety and melancholy. The painting's universality lies in its ability to evoke a visceral response from the viewer, making it a timeless masterpiece of modern art. The work's widespread influence can be seen in the numerous parodies and references that have appeared in popular culture, a testament to its enduring impact on the art world. Puberty, 1894-95. Emerging from the shadows of adolescence, Puberty, 1,894 to 95 inches, is a poignant and introspective work that showcases Edvard Munch's ability to convey the turmoil and uncertainty of the human experience. The painting features a young girl, thinly veiled in a transparent garment, standing in the center of a dark room, evoking a sense of vulnerability and exposure. Munch's use of chiaroscuro, with a stark contrast between light and dark, emphasizes the emotional turmoil of the protagonist, suspended between childhood and adulthood. The artist's choice of colors, characterized by muted tones and vibrant shades, adds to the emotional intensity of the work, capturing the complexities and anxiety of the pubescent experience. Puberty, 1,894 to 95 inches, demonstrates Munch's ability to render a profound psychological study of human emotions, making this work a significant milestone in the artist's oeuvre. Madonna, 1894, the aura of mysticism surrounding Madonna, 1,894 inches, belies the tumultuous emotions that Edvard Munch conveyed through this painting. Characterized by bold, vibrant colors and distorted forms, the work embodies the artist's unique expressionist style. The subject, a nude woman with an enigmatic gaze, is often interpreted as a representation of the Virgin Mary. However, Munch's depiction diverges significantly from traditional iconography, imbuing the figure with an air of sensuality and mystery. The painting's central theme revolves around the tension between spirituality and carnality, reflecting Munch's fascination with the human experience. The artist's bold brushstrokes and vivid palette create a sense of emotional intensity, drawing the viewer into the subject's inner world. Madonna, 1,894 inches, is a seminal work in Munch's oeuvre, showcasing his innovative approach to color and composition. By reinterpreting a traditional subject through his unique lens, Munch challenges the viewer to reevaluate their perceptions of the sacred and the profane. Ultimately, the painting stands as a testament to the artist's innovative spirit and his ability to capture the complexities of human emotion. The Kiss, 1897, a poignant expression of intimate connection. The Kiss, 1,897 inches, is a seminal work by Edvard Munch, that conveys the intensity of human emotion through a nuanced exploration of color and form. In this painting, Munch employs a bold and expressive palette with vibrant reds and oranges that evoke a sense of passion and energy. The figures of the couple are reduced to simple, flowing lines, their faces obscured as they surrender to the all-consuming moment. Through this composition, Munch distills the essence of human connection, conveying the idea that in moments of true intimacy, Individual identities become subsumed by the overwhelming power of emotion. The painting's dreamlike quality adds to its sense of universality, inviting the viewer to project their own experiences onto the anonymous figures. By stripping away extraneous details, Munch reveals the raw emotion at the heart of human connection, creating a work that is both deeply personal and profoundly relatable. As a result, The Kiss, 1,897 inches remains one of the artist's most celebrated and enduring works. The Dance of Life Life's fleeting moments and cycles of love, loss, and longing are masterfully captured in Edvard Munch's The Dance of Life, a seminal work that exemplifies the artist's unique ability to convey the complexities of human experience 
through bold, expressive brushstrokes and vivid color. Completed in 1900, this iconic painting showcases a group of figures dancing along the shores of Oslofjord, their movements seemingly frozen in time. With its dreamlike quality and sense of spontaneity, the Dance of Life stands as a testament to Munch's innovative style, which blended elements of expressionism and symbolism. Through the use of vibrant hues and sinuous lines, Munch imbues the scene with a sense of vibrancy and pathos, capturing the kinetic energy of life's journey. The figures, suspended in a state of perpetual motion, convey a sense of vulnerability and uncertainty, highlighting the fragility of human existence. As such, the Dance of Life offers a poignant and thought-provoking reflection on the human condition, inviting the viewer to contemplate the intricate dance of life with all its joys and sorrows. The painting is now considered a cornerstone of Munch's oeuvre and a landmark of modern art. Vampire, 1895. Emerging from the dark recesses of Edvard Munch's psyche, Vampire, 1895 inches, presents a haunting and enigmatic vision of a woman leaning over a man, her face pressed against his neck in an intimate and ominous gesture. The painting's dark muted palette and fluid brushstrokes create a sense of foreboding and unease, while the woman's arched back and the man's limp posture convey a dynamic of dominance and submission. Munch's vampire is not a monstrous creature, but a symbol of the destructive power of feminine desire. The painting reflects the artist's fascination with the darker aspects of love and relationships, as well as his own deep-seated anxieties about women and intimacy. Vampire, 1895 inches, is a seminal work in Munch's oeuvre, showcasing his ability to distill complex emotions and ideas into a single, haunting image. Its influence can be seen in later works of expressionism and surrealism, cementing Munch's status as a pioneer of modern art. The Sick Child, 1907. Somewhere in the nexus of illness, mortality, and familial bond, Edvard Munch's The Sick Child, 1,907 inches, masterfully evokes a poignant and introspective scene. This painting is one of six versions Munch created between 1885 and 1926, with the 1907 rendition being a seminal work in his oeuvre. The composition depicts a gravely ill child, often believed to be Munch's sister Sophie, who died of tuberculosis in 1877. Munch's own experiences with loss and grief are deeply embedded in the painting, as he revisits the traumatic event that profoundly impacted his life. Munch's bold, expressive brushstrokes and vivid color palette imbue the painting with a sense of emotional intensity. The child's frail figure, set against a stark white background, serves as a powerful metaphor for the fragility of life. The artist's exploration of themes such as mortality, anxiety, and the human condition continue to resonate with audiences today, making The Sick Child, 1,907 inches, a masterpiece of modern art. This painting showcases Munch's ability to convey complex emotions through his art, solidifying his position as a pioneer of expressionism. Ashes. Several versions of Ashes exist in Edvard Munch's oeuvre, with the most notable being the 1894-95 painting a seminal work that showcases the artist's bold exploration of themes such as love, loss, and melancholy. The painting depicts a post-coital scene between two figures, their faces contorted in a mixture of despair and desperation. The dominant palette of dark blues and grays heightens the sense of desolation and despondency. Munch's bold brushstrokes and expressive lines imbue the painting with a sense of tension and anxiety, underscoring the emotional turmoil of the figures. The artist's exploration of the human condition is evident in the way he captures the complexities of relationships and the disillusionment that often follows intense emotional connections. Through Ashes, Munch sheds light on the fragility of human relationships and the disintegration of love, leaving the viewer to ponder the devastating consequences of emotional collapse. The painting's emotional intensity and psychological complexity solidify its place as a masterpiece of existential angst. Evening on Carl Johann Street, 1892. A poignant example of Edvard Munch's ability to capture the atmosphere of a cityscape. Evening on Carl Johann Street, 1,892 inches, presents a melancholic portrayal of Oslo's main street during the twilight hours. The painting's central theme revolves around the depiction of everyday life in a modern city, highlighting the sense of alienation and disconnection that often accompanies urban living. Munch's masterful use of color and light creates a sense of depth and mood, drawing the viewer's eye down the length of the street. The painting's composition is characterized by a predominantly dark palette, punctuated by the soft glow of streetlights and the distant windows of buildings.
The artist's bold brushstrokes and vivid colors imbue the scene with a sense of energy and movement, while the figures that populate the street are reduced to mere silhouettes, their faces obscured by the shadows. By capturing the urban landscape in this manner, Munch invites the viewer to contemplate the human experience within the context of modernity, revealing the underlying tensions and contradictions that define urban life. The painting stands as a seminal work in Munch's oeuvre, offering a nuanced portrayal of city life. Melancholy. How does one capture the complexities of the human experience in a single artwork? This is the question that Edvard Munch continually posed to himself throughout his artistic career, and Melancholy stands as a pivotal example. Completed in 1893, this oil on canvas is a study in emotion and introspection, portraying Munch's friend, Norwegian writer and critic, Arne Egum, 1861, 958. Though many believed mistakenly and for long that the melancholic described within the works was likely Olaf, who did not show any particularly great interest to Edvar's art. Lost within their own profound sorrow on Jaloya's shoreline, facing in the open direction bang with the famous fourth bridge, now an electric bridge spanning across by islands. Emphasized shades of brown and cool purple hues reinforce the theme, while the silhouette of sail on the vessel at lower midsection reminds of deep waters and innumerable shadows. His work offers introspection, not escapism, where viewers seek personal connections on a different dimensional plane where emotions never go astray. Today, many consider melancholy his masterpiece piece amongst his notable pieces, where deep sorrow may also tell as a healing power under these circumstances which he felt most. We hope you enjoyed this visual journey through Edvard Munch's extraordinary works. His ability to convey profound feelings continues to resonate with audiences today. If you found inspiration in these masterpieces, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe for more art explorations. Share your thoughts in the comments. What's your favorite Munch painting? Until next time, keep exploring the beauty of art.